Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the second exercise that we're going to do. And um, today we're going to do the cola machine. Ooh. Though I don't really understand because uh, it says write a program that presents the user with a choice of five favorite beverages, Coke, water, Sprite. These two aren't colas. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. should be saying, like, beverage machine. Anyway, just nitpicking now. Um, so yeah, write a program that presents the user with a choice of five favorite beverages, whatever you want, um, then allow the user to choose a beverage by entering a number, one through five. So each beverage is going to be associated with a number, so like one would be, you know, water, two would be blah blah blah, and so on, right? So I actually coded this up ahead of time. Let me just copy and paste it here, just to save some time. And I went ahead and made five um, drinks that I can think of. So Coke, water, iced tea, coffee, and Pepsi. Um, go ahead, and if you're doing this, make your own. And I'm also going to make an integer uh, for choice. And this is going to store the user's choice. So whatever the user wants, he can enter his choice into this integer. Um, yeah. So what I'll do now is I'll see out choose chooses choose a drink and I'll put in parentheses one through five so they know the options they know that they can choose geez I cannot type so it says choose a drink one through five and then we can see in our choice so it's going to ask the user, choose one, and then they'll go ahead and enter um, their choice. So it says now, then I'll allow the user, you know, blah, 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 output which beverage they choose. So if they put one, we're going to output Coke. If they put two, water, so on and so forth. So I actually went ahead and did this as well, just to save some time. So as you see here, I just did um, if and else if statements. So if choice is equal one, it's going to see out Coke. Uh, if choice is equal two, it's going to be water. So on and so forth. Now, let's say they enter something that's not on the menu. Therefore, we're going to have an else statement. And it'll say invalid. Invalid choice. OK? So if they don't choose one, two, three, four, or five, it's going to go to else, and it's just going to say invalid choice. So let's go ahead and run this. Make sure it works. So it shows the menu. It says choose a drink. Let's put one. There, it says Coke. Let's put something that's invalid, like eight. There you go. Eight wasn't one of the options, so else caught it. Okay, now it says if your program uses if statements instead of a switch statement, modify it to use a switch statement. Uh, and then vice versa if we use the switch statement. Oh, I just read the, uh, <laughs> just read the next bonus. It's pretty much saying to do what we did with the else. It's saying modify the program so that if the user enters a choice uh, other than one for, other than um, other than 1 through 5, geez, uh, then it will output error choice was not valid, here's your money back. We just put in valid choice. It's practically the same, you can put whatever you please uh, in these quotations. So we'll go ahead and we'll change this um, to a switch statement now. So if you recall, switch statement looks something like this. So switch, and then what are we looking at? We're looking at choice. Okay. So case where choice is equal to one, it's going to see out Coke. And we can delete this. Whoops. Delete this. Delete that. Delete that. So case where it is two, it's going to say water. And remember, we don't need brackets for these. 
Um, we can just have case. And then whatever's after the colon. And then case four. And then case five. Okay, so what should we do about this else, though? This is going to be our default case. It's pretty much the same as saying else. So if the case 1 through 5 isn't uh, uh, chosen, then it's going to default to this, hence default. Now what is one thing we forgot to do? If we remember, if we put 1 for choice, it's going to read out Coke, then it's going to go to case 2, and it's going to say water, and so on and so forth. So now we have to put breaks um, after each one, or it'll just continue down the line. If I can type. <sighs> this is just, an, I'm just going to copy and paste it. This is just getting embarrassing now. There we go. All right, cool. So now, if we run it, what's the? Oh, whoops! We forgot to put the entire thing within brackets. So it's saying break statement not within loop. That's because we didn't make a loop. We forgot the. Uh, well, I forgot the curly brackets. There we go. It's going to say choose a drink, let's put one, coke. Now let's try another invalid case, seven. And you can see it went straight to the default. Um, so yeah, that is the cola machine exercise. Um, not too hard, uh, really no harder than the grading program. Um, just if statements or you could use switch statements. So the next one, we're going to use loops it looks like. So we can do that next, and uh, yeah, we can do that next because we know everything that we need to know um, in order to do this. So uh, yeah, go ahead and try this on your own if you haven't already, and uh, yeah, see if you get the same result. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.